how do I know how attractive I am? It's the number one question I get since starting the channel. I'm going to give you two rules to find out, but first let me explain. This is my how attractive diagram. It's new. I included a guy and a girl evaluating themselves and each other according to the standard female delusion chart. It's based on examples of relationships and the power dynamics that structure them so you can get a sense of how people assess their own value and trade it with others. Basically, what is this person giving to their partner or target partner and what are they getting in return? This is what I think we should all be shooting for, perfect 50-50, and also admitting that we are average. I included the attractiveness bell curve with the not people zone built in, that is why most guys don't get attention. That's why there's a second average here, that's Ryan Gosling. That's the average of the men that count as people. I included the ways that we evaluate each other. There are things that everyone likes or doesn't like. There are things that people usually like and don't like. And then there are personal preferences and then a reminder of how to use them. And finally, a reminder that not everyone has the same opinion. I've gotten this from up here, and I have gotten this from down here. I depicted a variety of relationships. This is an Elon Musk, Andrew Tate type situation. He has a lot of money and power, and so he doesn't have to put in much effort. Here's an example from an old video I made. She doesn't want none of that unless you're attractive. She says, don't catcall me unless you're a seven, by which she means nine. This is a relationship I was in. That is a picture of me when I was good. I spent some time with somebody who I, I liked, but there was a large attractiveness difference, and so she tolerated a lot from me. Here again is what most people should be shooting for on the same level, each putting in half. Here's another example from my TikTok. He was in a relationship with someone who wasn't putting in anything. As you can see, it does not matter how hard he works, she wasn't ever going to change. And finally, at the bottom, I have a reminder that it doesn't always have to be 50-50. As long as everyone is happy with the situation, somebody who is maybe of a little lower value can put in more, and someone else of a little higher value can put in less, and it can work out. You can do something like this if you're okay with it, and if you're, if you're not okay with doing something like this, then you have to just not do it anymore. So basically, this would be what someone perceives about their value and then how much work they're willing to put in for what they perceive about their partner's value. Sometimes people will say something like, I know a guy who's a two who has a girl that's a nine, and that's not true. It's just that she perceives something in him that equalizes the value transfer. So people don't have a value. They have a perceived value, and everyone perceives it differently, and how attractive you are is the average of how you are perceived. It's not all uh, looks. I once said that I know where I am with women, but not with each woman. I've gotten, again, a variety of responses. And that can make it hard to tell where you are, and that's why you have to pay attention to feedback. When I started getting in shape, I noticed that more women would smile at me, and they would pretend to be helpless, so I would do things for them, and then they would look at me on the street. And I never made it up here, but some people do. So I think I'm here right now because these things have slowed down for me. So, I was here when I was young, and then I put in effort, and everything changed, and then, you know, time. Some women still like me a lot, but they have to get to know me first, which equalizes attraction. So that's feedback. For men, anyway. For women, it's different. But you have to pay attention to the feedback you get, and then look at what kind of person you're getting it from to know where you are. And yes, nothing is a kind of feedback, so if you're getting nothing, that is an answer. But there are things you can do about that. You can self-improve. And you can get to know people. A lot of guys just go after strange women forever, and they're like, why is it not working? It's because you're here when they don't know you, and you're here when they do know you. So once you get your feedback, identify who you're getting it from. When I got these looks on the street, they were from women in this range, which fits this model. And when I asked women for a number, they told me eight. It all kind of fit together. Let's talk about why this is difficult. Talking about attraction is emotional. Some people just don't see the feedback, some people don't want to admit that they're average, and some people are just delusional. You can say you're a 10 until you believe it, but you cannot say you're a 10 until I believe it. Scale of 1 to 10. A fat fucking 10. In the early days of my channel, a month ago, I gave a lot of women ratings. They got a lot of views, especially when I was mean. Women volunteered to be complimented and insulted. It makes you look like a whore. I got reported for gender-based violence and bullying, even though they volunteered. This guy thought 10 was too high for a literal model. Here's what he looks like. So people see the world a little bit distorted. That's why I made this. Ryan Gosling being attractive is Hollywood propaganda. 
She then says that he's average, by which she means this. I found a bunch of videos like this. For every one decent looking man, there's like 50 hot girls. Like, it's ridiculous. Are you on Tinder here? Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. I try to get around these distortions, but not everyone will. That's why you need this. Some people say attraction is subjective, but there are some things we all like or don't like, and some things we usually like or don't like, so it's only part subjective. And the way people perceive you is not all about looks, it's about many things, which is also sometimes very personal. For example, you would not believe this, but some people do not want an angry mommy girlfriend. That's Alex Pierce. She's known for her angry ranting. Some people love it. She's very polarizing. That would be a personal preference in personality. Also, different people value different things differently. I would rather have a 10 here and a 5 here than the other way around. So, judge by universal and usual preferences and not personal ones. Include everybody in the world in that age group and include everything you know about them to get their total value. That's how to judge fairly, but not everyone will do that. So you have to remember how this works and then look for your feedback. Let's do guys first. I said I used to get looks from women on the street when I was up here. That's rule number one for guys. If you're getting attention from women who don't know you, you're doing good. That's why very few men get all the attention on dating apps, because very few men look good to women right away. Familiarity evens things out, so if you know her pretty well and it's not working, she probably sees you as down here, and you should either adjust your expectations or work on yourself. And you should work on yourself. I went from here to here and it changed everything. Guys down here tend to think that women are just difficult, but if you make it past this line, you get to be difficult, and I recommend it. This is a real thing someone said to me. I was basically staying at her place, drinking all her wine, hitting on her friends, and she was like, I, I can't get rid of you. It's a good thing you're so good. I don't actually recommend treating people this way. I'm just saying you can be valued. I will show you how to work on yourself in a video called Self Maximize coming up. Basically, do this first, find out who likes it, do this next, and try to end up here. Okay, now let's do women. Men have to know when they are here, and women have to know when they are here. I just told men that if you're getting attention from women that you don't know, then you're doing pretty well. Some women think this is true about them, too. It is not. This girl is bragging that 108 people are interested in her. She probably thinks they all feel this way. They don't. A lot of men, including me, will give attention to women who we judge as being anywhere from here to here. If I think you're a four, I probably wouldn't put you higher than here, but I might put you here. You have to know who feels this way about you and who doesn't, and this is how you know. You can't listen to what they say. They'll say anything. You cannot pick who you like and make him keep you. We do not work that way. You have to find out who wants to keep you and pick your favorite one. If you start with this, then you're not filtering out the guys who will make you end up here. Your level is the best guy who will commit, not the best one in your inbox. A lot of women hate that advice. They say, I'm not going to settle for less. And that's okay as long as you realize that if you're aiming too high, you might end up alone or with a guy who's got five other girls. All I'm saying is you don't want to be her and you cannot be her just by saying you are. Other people have to agree. That's why we used to have marriage. It was proof of commitment and not just saying it. So you can tell who likes you by how much he's investing in you. That's time, money, energy, commitment. How much does he want to have a public relationship? How much does he want to show you off? How fast does he give up other women for you? If he's not giving you those things, he probably won't. So for men, you're looking at what kind of woman is giving you signs of attraction. Being nice is never going to change that. And for women, you're looking at what kind of man is giving you signs of commitment. And more attraction to him is never going to change that. I think we all know these things on some level, but we just don't want to be honest with ourselves. We don't want to admit where we are. But if you do, that's going to get you the best result. This is what most of us should be looking for. So here's those two rules I promised you. Number one... You know how much someone likes you from the energy you get minus the energy you give. Don't expect that to change. And number two, you know how attractive you are by looking at what kind of person gives you about the same as what they take. 
So don't give people energy that they don't give back, and then pick from whoever is left. If you enjoyed this video, there's about a million ways to support me on my link tree, and I'm gonna start making music and stuff. Here's some of it.